Hello everyone and welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll clear your doubts on one question that arises a lot. How to become a software developer? This video will clear your doubts and take you through the roadmap to becoming a software developer in 2024. We'll also cover the skills required to become a successful software developer. But before we begin, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them helpful, then consider subscribing to Simply Learn's YouTube channel because we bring the best videos for you daily. Also hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. Do you guys know that the average salary of a software developer in the current IT industry is comparatively high if compared to other professions? The average salary of a full stack developer alone in the United States goes around $97,000 per year. So if you also want to bag a high paying job in this field, then Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack web development in collaboration with the Caltech CTME can help you accelerate your career as a software developer. In just a few months, you will master modern coding techniques with bootcamp level intensity, becoming a full stack technologist. This program lays the foundation for crafting full stack web applications using Java programming. You will start with the basics of JavaScript and progress to advanced topics like Angular, Spring Boot, Hibernate, JSPs, and MVC. It's your ideal moment to embark on a career as a full stack web developer. To join this postgraduate program in full stack web development, you will need a bachelor's degree with an average of 50% or higher marks. Basic programming language and candidates with two plus years of work experience are preferred. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link mentioned in the description box below for more details. So let's start this video with what is software development. Software development is the process of designing, creating, testing and maintaining software applications, systems or programs. It involves a series of activities to produce high quality, functional and efficient software to meet specific user or business needs. Some of the key aspects of software development includes planning and requirement gathering. This phase involves understanding the needs and objectives of the software project. It includes gathering and documenting requirements, defining the scope and planning the overall development process. Design. In this phase, software architects and designers create a blueprint for the software. They define the system's structure, user interfaces, data models, and other technical specifications. Implementation. Developers write the actual code according to the design specifications. This phase includes programming, coding, and integrating different components to build the software. Testing. Quality assurance and testing teams thoroughly test the software to identify and fix bugs, errors, and issues. Different testing methodologies like unit testing, integration testing, and user acceptance testing are employed. Deployment. Once the software passes testing and is deemed stable and functional, it is deployed to the production environment where users can access and use it. Software development can take many forms, from small-scale projects created by a single developer to large-scale enterprise applications developed by teams of engineers. It encompasses a wide range of programming languages, frameworks, and tools tailored to the specific needs and goals of a project. So let's move ahead and now we'll take you through the roadmap of how to become a software developer in 2024. Let's go through the first step, which is learn the basics. The initial step is all about building a solid foundation in programming. What you will need to do is, the first step is choosing a programming language. Start with a beginner friendly language like Python, JavaScript or Java. These languages are widely used and have extensive learning resources available online. Next is online courses and tutorials. Utilize online platforms like tutorials, blogs, and YouTube videos to learn the basics of programming. These courses often include interactive coding exercises and video tutorials. Next is practice, practice, and practice. Programming is a skill that improves with practice. Code regularly to reinforce your understanding of concepts and gain confidence in writing code. And the last is build simple projects. Begin with small coding projects. For example, create a simple calculator, a to-do list app, or an essential website. And the next is build simple projects. Begin with small coding projects. For example, create a simple calculator, a to-do list app, or an essential website. These projects help you apply what you have learned. The next step of this roadmap is gain practical experience. Practical experience is crucial in software development. To gain practical experience, you should start open source contributions. Join open source projects on platforms like GitHub. By contributing to these projects, you collaborate with experienced developers and learn from their code. 
It's also an excellent way to showcase your skills to potential employers. Next is personal projects. Develop your own software projects. Choose projects that interest you and align with your career goals. Building real-world applications, even if they are small, demonstrates your abilities. Next is internships and freelancing. Consider internships or freelancing opportunities. These provide hands-on experience and a chance to work on larger, team-based projects. The next step of this roadmap is formal education. It is an optional step. While formal education isn't mandatory, it can offer a structured part to software development, a bachelor's degree. Pursuing a bachelor's degree in computer science, software engineering, or a related field provides a comprehensive education. It covers theory and algorithms and offers a broader understanding of computer science principles. Master's degree. For those aiming for specialized roles or research, a master's degree or course can be beneficial. It allows for deepening knowledge in a specific area of software development. The last is postgraduate program. Postgraduate program are intensive short-term programs that focus on practical skills. They are a quicker way to gain relevant knowledge and skills compared to traditional degree programs. So you can check out the link mentioned in the description box below and go through the postgraduate program in full stack web development by Simply Learn and Caltech CTA. The next step of this roadmap is building a portfolio. Your portfolio is your showcase of work and skills. To create an impressive one, you should select your best work. Choose your most polished and diverse projects to feature in your portfolio. Highlight your ability to solve different types of problems. Document your process. For each project, explain your thought process, the challenges you faced, and how you overcame them. This shows your problem-solving skills and your ability to learn and adapt. Include code samples in your portfolio. Provide code snippets and links to your GitHub or other repositories. Potential employers often review code to assess your coding style and practices. And the last is update regularly. As you complete new projects or improve existing ones, update your portfolio to reflect your growth and skills. And the fifth and the last step of this roadmap is networking and staying updated. Building connections and staying up to date are essential in software development field. The first one is networking. Attend tech meetups, conferences and webinars to meet fellow developers and potential employers. Online platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter are also a great way for networking. Contribute to online communities. Engage in developer forums and communities like Stack Overflow and Reddit. Answering questions and sharing your knowledge can enhance your reputation. The final step is continuous education. Technology evolves rapidly. Staying current by reading tech blogs, taking online courses, and following industry news. Technology evolves rapidly. Stay current by reading tech blogs, taking online courses, and following the industry news. Consider certifications in specific technologies or areas of interest. By following these detailed steps in the roadmap, you will be well on your way to becoming a proficient software developer with a strong portfolio and a network of peers in the industry. Remember that continuous learning and adaptation are the key to thriving in this dynamic field. Becoming a successful software developer requires combining technical skills, soft skills, and a continuous commitment to learning and improvement. So here's a list of skills that can help you excel this field of software development. The first is programming languages. Proficiency in one or more programming languages is fundamental. The choice of language can depend on your area of interest and the types of project you want to work on. Common languages include Python, Java, JavaScript, C++, C Sharp, Ruby, and others. The next skill is problem solving. Software developers are problem solvers. You should be able to analyze complex problems, break them down into smaller pieces, manageable parts, and develop practical solutions. The third skill is data structures and algorithms. Understanding data structures, for example, arrays, linked lists, trees, and algorithms like sorting, searching, is crucial for efficient coding and problem solving. The fourth skill is web development. If you're interested in web development, you should be familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as web frameworks like React, Angular, or Vue.js. The next skill is database management system. Knowledge of database systems, SQL, and NoSQL databases is essential for storing and retrieving data efficiently. The next skill is version control. Proficiency with version control systems like Git is important for collaborative coding and code management. The seventh skill in our list is soft skills. Soft skills are equally important. These include communication skills, teamwork, time management, and working well under pressure. 
The last skill we have for this role is continuous learning. Technology evolves rapidly. Stay up to date with the latest trends, languages and frameworks through online courses, books and community involvement. Consequently, the compensation packages for software developers have become notably attractive. According to Glassdoor, the average salary of a software developer in the United States goes around $104,000 per year and the same software developer working in India earns around Rs. 9,12,000 per year with additional cash compensation. So remember that mastering software development is a continuous journey and hands-on experience is crucial. So tailor your learning path based on your goals and stay curious and adaptable in this ever-evolving field. So with that, we have come to the end of this video on Software Development Roadmap 2024. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. You should now understand how to make a career in this exceptionally growing field of software development. So if you are interested in learning more about different technologies, there are plenty of resources available at Simply Learn. You can also check out our website for more information on different certifications. So thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn for more amazing updates. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.